I'm Lucy, and I'm talking about visual entity linking for structured data on Wikimedia Commons. This project um, was led by a group of master students, Philip, Yasmin, Meshet, Melna and Adrian, and me, Rusha and Gerard um, were supervising in the Hasse Plattner Institute. So first of all, let's give a little bit of an overview of what we talk about when we talk about structured data on commons. Commons, as many of you might know, is the media database of Wikimedia. It contains around 100 million images. And so in this work, just as a spoiler already, um, we're specifically looking at images. Each media file on Wikimedia Commons, including therefore the images, has a structured data tab. So here, for example, you see there's a picture of sugar cubes and while you, there's also file information, there's also a tab that talks about structured data in specific. Structured data is really helpful because it makes it easy to search images and can be easily processed by machines. This means that here, for example, on, on Wikimedia Commons, um, all, like all uh, objects of an image and all kind of meta information is directly linked to Wikidata, Wikimedia's knowledge graph, making it very easily processable by machines. Specifically in our work, we look at depict statement. Depict statement de describe things that are on an image. So I highlighted here, for example, the sugar cubes, the number of sugar cubes, <coughs> the color of the background, that there is a background and what color it has. In our work, we specifically focus on the de depict statements that describes ob objects on an image. So directly describing things that you can see. For example, in that case, that would be the sugar cubes. Currently, only 15% of images have at least one Wikidata item linked on, um, on Wikimedia Commons. So what we want to say is that there is a huge lack of actually uh, structured data available on Commons nowadays. And this is where our approach of visual entity linking for structured data on Wikimedia Commons comes in. So kind of we want to say there's all this available human and community curated data, maybe we can support the community by creating automatically creating more structured data. And so specifically what we're looking at or what our approach entails is that we have this clip based model um, that is trained on existing comments images linked to Wikidata. And then given a comments image, we would be able to predict new structured data, new depict statement for a given image. So we would recognize things that are on an image and then create new links to the Wikidata knowledge graph. We create a data set that is also linked here, it's publicly available, of Wikimedia Commons images. Um, and those are again linked to Wikidata items through the depict statement. So we use the existing um, information on Wikimedia Commons. And we use knowledge graph structure to improve long tail entities. So one of the things we found is that it's there is a lot of entities, there's a lot of images, of course, but there's also a lot of entities from Wikidata linked. Um, and so the details are in the paper, how we do that, but we use the knowledge graph structure um, to kind of reduce the number of entities. We sample from the entirety of um, Wikimedia Commons for, for processing reasons, we sample 1 million images that we work with um, that we then create this data set that is now available. We find that working with real life data, of course, always brings its challenges. And so the challenges with Wikimedia Commons data in specific is that, first of all, there's a varying understanding of what depict statement should entail. So there are different community guidelines on what sh should be on a depict statement, how broad or how narrow it should be. And this also then leads to downstream um, problems, basically, in the data set that we can then understand. Um, for example, some items are very specific, fine-grained, like the exact address of a house in, um, in the Netherlands is one example where we found while looking at the data. But there's also this problem that near identical concepts, so different models of BMWs, for example, have different items on Wikidata. So um, that makes it very hard for our model to learn and understand what um, item to link. 
we found also i will get into that in a second that while manually un investigating the data often the model is performs a lot better when you look with a human on it than the raw numbers show us because the raw numbers just say is it has it been previously linked but if we have very similar concepts or concepts that are more broad or more narrow and the model tries to predict those of course our metrics um, penalize those predictions so um, we we have a very short insight into like some preliminary experiments um, we're working on a larger paper where we have a larger set of experiments but this preliminary set of experiments already shows that of course further experiments are needed to make sure that this data set is explored extensively to the extent that it can be used but we already have some promising results and so the idea would be to say eventually it might actually be useful to um, enable tools like this to support the community in finding structured data for the already very large data set of images. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you uh, find some useful information in this. The, as I said, there's a lot more information in the paper as well as um, on, where the, on Hugging Face where the data set is stored. Um, I would thank my co-authors and please feel free to reach out to me. I uh, left my contact information below. Thank you very much.